New at five, several political prisoners who spent years in the Nicaraguan prisons and many who say they were physically tortured are now making Atlanta their home. This comes after the government in Nicaragua released more than 200 political prisoners earlier this year, stripping them of their citizenship. Our Paolo Suro spoke to some of those men today who say this has not been an easy transition. These are eyes that have seen it all. They would keep me naked. They wouldn't let me sleep. They would throw water on me. They would beat me up. They would insult me and pull me by the hair I used to have. And these are burn marks and scabs where Ernesto Antonio Ramirez Garcia says cuffs once squeezed his ankles while in prison in his home country, Nicaragua. I weighed 210 pounds when I went to prison. When I left two and a half years later, I weighed 130 pounds. Ramirez Garcia and 221 other political prisoners were released, stripped of their citizenship and flown to the U.S. earlier this year. The U.S. Department of State explains they had been imprisoned for exercising fundamental freedoms and include journalists, students and political and business leaders. Ramirez Garcia worked for a newspaper, but today works at Milinda Managua restaurant in Norcross. I got down on my knees and I cried. Then I found out we were being flown outside of Nicaragua. They're forcing you out of your country, the one you've been trying to save. Ramirez Garcia and four others, whom he now calls brothers, were freed together and now work at Milinda Managua as they make Atlanta their new home. They also go to a psychologist assigned to them once a week. But Francisco Javier Pineda Guatemala explains they will never unsee what they went through. They accuse us of crimes we never committed. I had hot coffee thrown on my back. I was beaten by many of them. And days before our release, they put us out in the sun so that we would get some color back and people would assume everything was okay with us. They were granted humanity parole for two years, giving them time to apply for asylum in the U.S. I wanted to fight until I could see my country free. There have been too many human rights violations. In Atlanta, Paolo Cerro, 11 Alive News.